What's up, Pickle Papes? Okay. I just found a brand new resource for cutting out images that does not require Canva. Say what? Oh, yes. So if you want to be able to cut out selfies, products, any of the above for free, then you want to pay attention to the site I'm going to take you to next. And they have a bunch of other resources that I didn't think I was going to love, but I totally do. So let's get to it. What am I talking about today? That's not Canva. By the way, you could totally use this in conjunction with Canva um, and use it for all of their fantastic like frames and layouts and stuff, but get all your image of cutouts done here. Yeah, I am talking about... Profile Pick Maker, which is pfpmaker.com. It is totally free that I've found. Um, you don't get to really make an account, so beyond that part, that's the only thing that downside that I've seen so far. Um, but let's get to it. The site will be linked below. No, I'm not an affiliate. Alrighty, so super duper crazy simple here. I'm just going to take you through the main page, um, but first, you want to get started, just boom, upload your photo right here. We're going to do that in just a second. They have a whole bunch of different templates that you can preview. Scrolling further down, blah, 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 blah. But it'll show you, you upload your photo. It has AI. Their AI is pretty decent. Canvas is a little bit better, but it works. It works. For free, I'll take it. And then you can choose all of your backgrounds and so much cool stuff. So let's go ahead. I hope I didn't make you motion sick there. And let's get started. So I'm going to click on upload your photo. Okay, here is um, one of my personal favorites. And it really doesn't take long at all. Um, I would say like on par with Canva for um, doing that background erasure. I was pretty dang impressed about the speed of this. And you're not like sitting and waiting for the little check mark <laughs> while we do it. Okay, and boom, you can see it in here. Now there are a bunch of ads on the page, but they don't really bother anything. And you can see all of the cool backdrops here. And when I was talking about um, Canva's AI being just a smidge better, the only part in here I saw that bugged me is like this section right here in my hair. Um, could just be this image, but usually I think Canva does a slightly better job. So you can scroll through and you can see all of the super duper cool backgrounds they have. So they have like plain color ones. They have all of these really fun designs like that is great right there. I'm loving that one. And just scroll through until you find the one that you like. I love that one. That one looks pretty good. Let's see. Let's see. Um, you have no background straight on um, that. You can have it in black and white and gradients. They have bokeh backgrounds. I really love that one. <laughs> um, they have like different room and building backgrounds. They have the cool color things and they have like the, I don't know what that one says to me. <laughs> so you guys can see right in there. So this is all just on the main page. Now they give you a couple of buttons here and we got to press the buttons, right? So the first button is where you can change your photo. You can change where the focus is on your photo. If it's rotated, you can rotate, you can scale all of that fine stuff. This one is fine for that. They also have something called decals. This is if you want to put like, say I wanted laser eyes. I could put them on here. They have another one that does laser eyes. Okay, that's kind of fun. Um, they have different kinds of laser eyes. If you want to put glasses and those kinds of things on there, you could do that. And if we don't want it, we're just going to hit that X right there. can change the color of the thing that you're doing. I'm not worried about it. All right, then you would hit save. Other things that they have, this is where you can choose your background. Um, if you want just like a straight solid color, they have a bunch of those. They have a bunch of the gradients. They have the abstracts, all that good stuff. And RGB, if you just wanted to put in a hex code or an RGB code, you could do that. So these are fun ones right there too. And then on the next one is if you wanted shadow um, below you. I'm not playing with any shadows. And then the last one is to reset if you want to start over. So I'm going to cancel on that. And we're going to scroll up and we're just going to pick one here. And let's go with this one because it's just fun. So when you go hover over it, you can you see there's a square download button and a round download button. So you can download both of these. So just click that and boom, yep, there's the gray that I was telling you about. Save. And boom, you have it. And I'm going to do the circle too. Save and good. 
And the really fun one to me, this is where I was like, oh, this is so cool, is if you hit the little eyeball preview, it'll show you what it would look like on your um, platform. So this is like looking at Facebook. And it'll give you a whole bunch of matching um, backdrops to what you have in there. So I think that is so freaking fun. Like, I am loving this one. And you can download them, and then you're good. You have your cover. So personally, I would take this then and take this cover image and then move it over into Canva, put any kind of text or other other kind of stuff that I want on it, and boom, we are good to go. This is like, I don't know. I don't know what's got Batman vibes to me. I don't know. I, I guess that story is coming soon. I should, I keep mentioning Batman, but I don't tell you guys why. <laughs> so anyway, but look at this. Look how amazing that is. So we were able to do that, boom, with um, a profile picture, no problemo. Um, now I think if I hit on this, it'll take me right back to the main page. You see they have a laser eyes maker, but now we know how to add, do lasers. But you can also use this for your products. It doesn't have to just be for um, selfies, though that is like for people with no tech skill whatsoever. They're loving it for selfies. But you, Pickle Peep, can do it for your products too. If you need to cut off your pro cut out your products, save them as a PNG, and then be able to put them in Canva. And if you're on the free Canva, and do all of the extra things with it. So I think this is such a fun, fantastic bonus little resource here. And let me know. That's that's your walkthrough. So let me know down below what you think of this. Have you heard of PFP Maker? before yeah profile pick pfp profile it's like two words i don't know if you've heard of them before um it's a pretty new resource to me but i really enjoyed it and i'm just gonna have so much fun playing and i love that it's got a ton of background choices but at the same time it's kind of limited because to me one of the downfalls of canva and let me know if you are similar here pickle peep is that there are so many options that i will spend hours looking for the perfect one because there's so many options versus here on PFP, they've got like 20 or 30 options. Like that is a manageable number of options. And if you know you have a specific color that you're looking for, it's even more manageable. So that's just my take on it. Um, I don't know what your take is, but hopefully you had fun with this one. Enjoy it. Go forth. Uh, maybe redo all of your profile pics. I don't know. I'm personally looking for a cartoon way to do that. That'll be probably the next profile pic one that I post. And that was a tongue twister. All right, Pickle Peeps, that is it for today. With that, I'm Melissa Pickle. For The Handmade How, you guys have an epic day while building an epic business.